All right, with the cannon guys. Hey. <laughs> So tell me again what we're doing. Uh, this is a Kokomo, uh, which is a virtual reality system. Okay. And uh, you can communicate, communicate with someone uh, uh, like face-to-face uh, -face communication. And uh, through this device and uh, smartphone, uh, you can see my body and my face, and you can communicate like a face-to-face. -face. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this is a demonstration video. So uh, you can try this. Uh, Love yeah. to. So basically, you have a 3D environment. Yeah. So you've got like basically a 2D flat person talking to you now. Yeah. So yeah. you could, I guess, you can use any type of live streaming or so, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So this is a demonstration uh, video booth, but in the next booth, uh, you can uh, actually communicate with someone okay. via this app. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can enjoy the scavenger hunt. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So still in concept oh. mode. Uh, don't have any potential release date at this time? Uh, not yet. Okay. This might be 100% of the contact model. We are not sure. We're trying to make it as fast as possible. But uh, we cannot say for the like, exact timing yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this model is like, you know, we have all the videos that I have seen. And we have zero experiment. But full frame, 8K, right? Right. But this one is like a 4K MDS C sound. Okay, 4K, okay. right? 4K. Okay, and uh, this one is 180 degrees, but uh, maybe this one is like 180 degrees, but uh, perfect match is 140. At the moment. Okay. Yeah. It is like, now, is anybody else, anybody working on an improvement to the lens at all? Um, not, not, not yet. Not yet. Because, yeah, I'd be very curious to see if anybody can finally do two things with it. One, be able to get some auto focusing capability in it if it's possible. I know that's that's a lot to focus on. But also maybe an adjustable IDP. I think that would be pretty cool. That way if you're getting in close you're not gonna get that parallax problem. At the moment we don't have any so everything's still in concept. So I'm gonna push this one to its limits in the meantime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're in the Canon booth at this moment, and we got, you know, I got a chance to see some of the dual lens, some of the 3D immersive. But here's something I hadn't seen before, and it's called Wireworks. No, so Wireworks is actually uh, one of the partner companies we're working with. The system I work on is called Free Viewpoint System, and that is Canon's volumetric capture solution. So what that means is, just like the content you can see on the screen to your left, what we're doing is we're capturing an entire space, an entire interaction between multiple people, and we can, in real time, create a 3D representation of that to be able to present you with new fun views that you could have never seen any other way. So for uh, things like basketball game, we could do shots like this where we're following the player and giving you almost that 2K-like view, which you could never do with any traditional broadcast setup in, a, in an NBA arena. So we're able to essentially reinvent the way that broadcast is shown to the end user. So I know right now this is all, no, this is actually real life. So yeah, this, this, was, this was a real game that was captured. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is, this is not generated, this is not animated at all. This is what we captured. This is this was a real NBA game. And I see everybody here at the table. It's kind of like they're surrounding this little... Yeah, so in this uh, little experience, what we have is it's, it's a mixed reality tabletop kind of setup. So uh -huh. if you remember, the easiest way to explain it is if you saw the Apple Vision keynote when they released that, they actually used our content in that little demo. And they showed the little NBA game being played on the table. They showed the 2D screen there. And then, you know, the play happened. And you saw the instant replay on the table below you. We've rebuilt that experience to show to people because it's our content. We realized... Jesus, why aren't we showing people that are stuff like this? Because it's an incredible way to view this. And right now, we only have this deployed in kind of um, closed off, isolated venues like this. We could do this in an arena, but right now we're in CES. The, the ultimate goal is that we'll be able to stream this content directly to the end user in their home. So you could be sitting on your couch and watch the game being played on your coffee table in front of you. And I mean, and every, people are on opposite sides of the table. Yeah. So they're able to actually see... The they're able to see different. each other and they're all seeing the and same and game. The they can point to the players. Yeah. So they can see the back side, the front side. 100%. Yeah. You can walk around the whole table, watch the perspective change. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty it's awesome. It's incredible. So is this still in concept? Is this still in development? No. So I mean, we're deployed right now in Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And again, we are a capture solution. What we're doing is we're capturing the 3D data. What we have here is a bunch of fun ways of showing you the 3D data. Right. But at its core, these aren't really our product. Our product is the capture solution. So your, your key 
target audience for this part or buyer in this case? I'm not too buy? qualified to speak to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool. It is super it's cool. cool. It's super cool. And we truly view this as being the next generation, the next iteration. You want to call it Web3 or whatever. Like this is how sports content for sure, but content more broadly is going to be consumed five, ten years from now. Uh, five years from now, like how much 3D content did you watch four years ago? Right, I'm gonna guess zero, five, I right? I definitely see within five years, even at a wedding event thing. It's going to explode, it's going to yeah. be insane, yeah, yeah. And I mean, right now it's basketball games, but if we're gonna talk about preservation and heritage, right, the, this extends so further, so much further. Like imagine saving a Tchaikovsky's uh, Black Swan or, or any incredible moment in history that right. we knew where it was going to happen. We can be ahead of it and we're we can preserve that for every holiday, generation. Holiday here yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff ahead, right? <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you so much, RJ. I hope you have a great day. Yeah. Very cool.